Welcome to GornettPrepSports.com. Todd Klein and Will Hammock here talking football. Will, and this week we're talking playoff football as the playoffs begin with Region 7 going against Region 8, meaning that it's all Gwinnett in the first round of the biggest classification. So we have some really good matchups. Want to get your opinions on those, your calls on these games. Starting off with Norcross, number four from Region 8, playing at Region 7, number one, Archer. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting matchup. I think Norcross's defense is very good. It's probably going to try and keep it close with that defense. Offensively, not a lot going on over the Blue Devils right now. I really have to rely on that passing game a little more than they'd like. Got the running game going a little bit against Collinsville last week, but I don't think it's good enough to, to budge against that improving Archer defense and that improving Archer team overall. So I like the Archer Tigers to get the win here in round one. On the other number four versus number one game, it's Central Gwinnett going on the road to play at Region 7 champ North Gwinnett. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one there for Central. I think especially having their quarterback Eric Forrest banged up against Burtmar in that season finale. Central's a lot better on defense than they were in the past. I think it's going to be tough to slow down that North Gwinnett offense. So North Gwinnett's probably going to get the victory here by at least a few touchdowns. Really good matchups in the number two versus number three seeds. We start off with Peachtree Ridge, number three seed going on the road. They have to play at Tequila. Yeah, I think that's going to be a great matchup. I think Peachtree Ridge has kind of hit the skids here a little bit late in, late in the season. They played so well early, early in the year. And I think it's going to be a tough matchup against this Tequila team that really likes to play physical, likes to run the ball, much like Mill Creek did last week. And I think the, really the matchup that's going to be important is Tequila's secondary, which is probably as talented as, as any bunch in the county, against those Peachtree Ridge wide receivers. I think Tequila's secondary is going to slow them down enough to get the victory. And then finally, the game we think is probably the game of the week. Grayson gets the number three seed. They have to go on the road and play Mill Creek. A very tough contest for both teams. Yeah, these are two teams I think that the winner can maybe make a run at the championship game. That, that they're that good. I mean, these, both these teams are so, such strong programs, and I think uh, they're both going to try and run the ball. Obviously, that's going to be their uh, what they go to, uh, their bread and butter in this game. And I think Grayson's defense, will they be able to slow down that Mill Creek running attack? I think the, uh, the answer may be on the other side of the ball. Can Grayson's offense do anything against that improving uh, Mill Creek defense? I think Mill Creek's defense is a little bit better than Grayson's offense at this point. I look for the Mill Creek uh, Hawks to win, but it's going to be very close. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Please check us out again next week at GwinnettPrepSports.com for more Talking Football.